We should never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate uh, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. cannabis-infused drinks. Now, they are, there are reports, rather, an Atlanta institution has been in contact with Canadian Marijuana Company, what Coca-Cola is saying about its reported interest in the industry tonight. Coca-Cola clarifying speculation on the company's plans to produce cannabis-infused drinks. Multiple reports today said the Coca-Cola's in talks with a Canadian marijuana producer to develop drinks that contain CBD, the non- psychotic ingredient in marijuana that has been shown to help treat ailments without getting the user hot. In 1893, Coca-Cola's original formula had a small dose of cocaine. It was marketed as a medicine for different ailments, but was then later remarketed as a soft drink. It had carbonated water, sugar, and caffeine. The same formula that Pepsi-Cola still makes today with sugar, not fructose corn syrup. Breaking news and it's good news. And touches your heart. How do you even say thank you? Thank you is not big enough.
Relentless bombings. Stun survivors.